Today, we'll talk about biofabricating a human heart, new ways to diagnose Alzheimer's, and check out how AI is saving forests. This is NSF Science Now. Just over 50% of the lower 48 U.S. states are currently experiencing drought. Soil moisture is a primary driver of tree growth, but can change rapidly. Traditional methods of monitoring land and forest soil moisture are expensive and energy intensive. This could be prohibitive for researchers, foresters, farmers, and others tracking the health of the land. The major problem with current soil monitoring techniques is the bulkiness of the devices. They are being expensive and um, they require a lot of effort to maintain and calibrate to have uh, reliable data. And uh, that requires um, expansion of the network to be able to create more data points, which are not possible today. NSF-supported researchers at the University of Maine's Wireless Sensor Networks Laboratory have developed a new low-energy cost-effective sensor. We have developed a very a small, low-power, reliable uh, wireless sensor that can monitor soil moisture and several other parameters, such as soil temperature, ambient temperature, etc., uh, and can be expanded to monitor more. This system uses AI and machine learning to make monitoring soil moisture more power efficient and at scale. By now having a network of lower cost sensors that are both energy efficient as well as driven by AI, we can better capture the dynamics at very local locations, which then can be scaled to other broader locations. Monitoring the forest and the environment overall is critical to understanding and managing the land. Uh, we're obviously focused on the forest, uh, which depends heavily on moisture conditions. Uh, blueberries is kind of a high important crop uh, here in Maine. With these drier summers, we expect moisture limitations to become more of a factor. Uh, we don't irrigate our forests, but we do irrigate our crops like blueberries. So having this more real-time, high-resolution soil moisture availability allows other people beyond foresters like blueberry um, farmers to be able to better manage their crop and make sure that we're adapting to the climatic conditions that are presenting themselves. Funding from NSF's EPSCORE program to the INSPIRES project will help build a digital forest big data framework where collaboration is essential. These sort of collaboration between engineering and technology faculty and um, forestry and other scientists uh, creates opportunities to create um, exactly the type of instrumentation the scientists will need uh, to advance the science rather than playing with what's already available. So that will push the science boundaries to the next level. Currently, the sensor system is used by Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont forestry groups. The team hopes to expand across the U.S. to better monitor and protect these fragile forest ecosystems. The human heart, one of our most vital and complex organs, beating 100,000 times a day. It is responsible for pumping life-sustaining blood via vessels throughout our body. Unlike other organs, the heart cannot repair itself after injury. And with nearly 3,000 people in the U.S. currently on heart transplant wait lists, finding a way to fabricate an entire human heart for transplantation is critical. Harvard bioengineers with NSF support have now used a new additive manufacturing method, a faster alternative to 3D printing, to recreate the helical structure of the human heart muscles. The team has shown that this muscle alignment dramatically increases how much blood the ventricle can pump with each contraction. They believe this breakthrough can mark a critical moment in the history of a heart transplant technology. It brings us one step closer to building a whole human heart that can be transplanted. Over 6 million Americans aged 65 and older live with Alzheimer's. This debilitating disease robs loved ones of their ability to remember everything from routine daily tasks to identifying familiar faces. Currently, there is no cure, and diagnoses are both time-consuming and costly, involving lengthy in-person exams, transcription, review, and analysis of every response detail. But NSF-supported researchers at Boston University have developed a new tool harnessing artificial intelligence to automate this process and could provide earlier detection of Alzheimer's. Using automated online speech recognition tools based on a machine learning technique called natural language processing, the team's model transcribes interviews and encodes them into numbers that a final model uses to determine an individual's cognitive impairment. 
The team says their program accurately distinguishes healthy individuals and those with dementia and detects differences between mild cognitive impairment and dementia. So I think a significant benefit is that we can screen remotely and we can screen at scale. Uh, another benefit is that uh, it may uh, be helpful in terms of diagnosing early stages of the disease and potentially conducting clinical trials that target those at earlier stages of the disease. The tool could aid clinicians in diagnosing cognitive impairment using audio recordings, including those from virtual or telehealth appointments, allowing for more timely diagnostics, ultimately improving the quality of life for older individuals. Check out this playlist for more research news and subscribe here.